I'm Thomas Morgan. By late September in 1780, all the overmountain militias had come together at Sycamore Shoals, getting ready to go on a campaign against this Major Patrick Ferguson and his Loyalist Army. As we were making preparations to leave the fort, a lady by the name of Mary Patton brought us in 500 pounds of black powder, some of the finest powder that we could ever hope to get. So I'd like you to hear her story. Good day, my name is Mary Patton. Now I've been known as a black powder maker. Now I guess I need to go back a little bit. I was born in 1751 in England. Now my father, David McKeon, he was from Scotland. Now he was a powder maker too, very good at it I might add. And he taught me the, the trade of making black powder. There's only one problem. In England, you have to have a license from the Crown to make black powder, and they are definitely not going to give a Scotsman a license for that, are they? So what Dad, my father, and I are doing is illegal. When I was, oh, in the late 60s, father decided he would come to the colonies. It was just getting a little bit too, too dicey being there in England. And we ended up in a place called Carlisle, Pennsylvania. And would you believe there was a young man by the name of John Patton. He stowed away on a ship at the age of 16 and came from Ulster County, Ireland by himself and ended up in Carlisle as well. And his family were black powder makers as well. And now ladies, is that not fate that we two should meet? Ended up married. John was in the militia, as all men are to be, are they not? He served with a man by the name of Andrew Taylor. When their time was up, Andrew came back down to the shoals. He kept sending word for John and myself to come down here, but we had two little girls and had a meal going. And well, finally, though, it became just a little bit too, too scary. There was too many loyalists around us. And we ended up coming down here to the shoals, sold our, our meal. Unfortunately, though, we got down here and the land that we got for our powder mill was useless. We were broke. But Andrew was a good friend and he helped us get land and get a mill going again. And we were very, very fortunate where we ended up at. Did you know that even here in the colonies, England owns what's in your outhouse? They sure do. Now they use that human waste as their source of nitrate. It's sodium nitrate and well, sodium loves water and that's the last thing powder wants is, is water. But where we moved, there were caves nearby and I have a fine jar here of what I use. This is some of that uh, that manure, it's potassium nitrate. Now potassium hates water, so it pushes it away. So I ask you, which would be the best powder? Sodium nitrate or potassium nitrate? That's why I can get a dollar a pound for my powder. Put that in perspective, you can get up to three acres of land in the right place for a dollar. So I think that must be pretty good powder. They, I can even sell it all the way to South Carolina. Now at this time a woman isn't supposed to go any place by herself and well she's not supposed to have money and she doesn't necessarily run a business but well they say I'm a little feisty and I don't know where they would get that at but now I, our mill is known as Mary Patton's Mill. It's never been known as John Patton's Mill. And I do take my powder all the way to Charlestown by myself. Coming home one time, there's a man jumped down in front of me. He 
said that he wanted my money. Why, well, I looked him right square in the eye and I said, you know a woman ain't got money. John's got the money back down the road. While he was standing there scratching his head, I hightailed it home and got home with all my money. Now, I do think putting our money into to land is a pretty good idea. I hope we we do end up with some quite a bit of land, make up for that that we lost up in Pennsylvania. But the most important thing about my powder is I want it to be used for the right cause. I've heard our men are going to find Ferguson, and I want to make sure that they have what they need. So my family and I, we've made 500 pounds of powder to send with them. I know it's not as much as what they could use, but for the time we had, that's what we could get made. And I sure hope that it helps them in become victorious over Ferguson. I hope you all have a good day.